Hello Pilgrims, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome to the Hall of Justice here in the beautiful snowy wonderland that is Colonelsburg. Uh, last time around we did a bit of a recap and a, you know, a little bit of a, a tinker here and a, and a build there and we, we erected this magnificent gallows uh, for, for the dispensation of uh, fair and just treatment of those who, uh, who disobey my iron will. Um, Oh, no, where are we? So, it's uh, year 150, for those of you who count, who count years. Um, and at the moment, as you can see, we've got, a, we've got all this housing here that's waiting to be built. This is, this is more, of, uh, more of the housing estate ready to go. Uh, likewise, yet more planned out, but not currently being built. And that's because I've actually got uh, the kind of ratio of adults to, uh, to dependents that, uh, that works for me right now. Uh, I don't want to uh, to generate another population kind of influx surplus overflow kind of situation until such a time as I, I have the resources to do so. And we can see that the resources to do so aren't quite there. So produced over uh, over the last year, or, the, or last year I should say, 50,800 food, we used 51,000. Yes, that's a, that's a recipe for starvation right there. Now, we've got the workers. Uh, the question is, where are we going to stick the land? Because uh, I'm going to need more farming prontissimo uh, in order to, to, to stave off uh, apologies for the wiggly camera moves here. Uh, just trying to find somewhere that looks looks like it might fit the bill. So yes, I, I, I need to get more uh, food supplies going. I could extend this kind of uh, forestry area. In fact, let's slow proceedings down to a, a leisurely pace um, but I'm wary of doing so largely because we'll start to encroach on this hunting and foresting and and all kinds of other mischief kind of an area oh, also I can't help but note I'm a bit short on iron well my laboring friends labor no longer you are now in the uh, the life expectancy rich environment of the mines um, Congratulations, I hope you have a, a rare old time. So, yes, I, I mean, the options, there, I mean, they're several, but it's, uh, it's a big option. That's the, that's the difficulty that I'm facing, is uh, where do I expand out to? So here's my, uh, here's my, uh, my primary uh, <laughs> farming area with the livestock next door. The question is, where's the next one going to be? Because this can't just be a, a pure expansion of what we have now. This has to be kind of the the root of a of a you know a whole new world. And I've got flaming foresters everywhere, and I don't want to get in their way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've got plenty of trees to choose from, so I, I could just relocate them, and everybody would be peachy happy. But uh, uh, that doesn't feel like hold everything hold everything yeah I see I want to I want to demolish all of this lot anyway so maybe likewise what are you up to at the moment you're just on on cutting stuff down whereas over here we've got a we got a cabin and another forester bit of stockpile action and you click that already okay so there's a there's a tiny bit of space here that I could stick another field in. I, I didn't mean to to, uh, to kind of debate this for more than a couple of minutes, but I'm genuinely torn as to as to where the the right. I mean, look at this two foresters next to each other. I mean, that's probably quite efficient. But uh, I mean, I guess the other the other option is to go further afield because we've never touched anything over here. And that's really all the decision time I tend to require. No, the only thing to really do there is to uh, bang a bridge in and get rolling. That's where we're going. Okay, stone and wood is uh, good. That's that's what they say. What are you doing there, yellow-clad people? You just appear to be hanging around. Well, don't be hanging around. Build me a bridge. Uh, likewise... Uh, I've got a significant amount of clear cutting I need you people to do. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's let's get this stuff out of my out of my face, and then let's up the tempo so that we're not still waiting for it to happen in in you know three and a half months. 
Uh, everybody, get to work. It's essential. Meanwhile, a trader arrives. Hello, you there. What are you? What are you? What are you? Honestly, he's a parasite. The coat merchant. Every winter, without exception, turns up and goes. All right, Gov. Anyone feeling a bit chilly? I'll, uh, you know, I'll do a do a good deal on some coats. Okay, I've got plenty of coats. I got more coats than I need. Why don't you sling your hook? Send me someone who can tempt me with uh, with something interesting. So yeah, it's a it's a bit of a it's not a great call. The call that I've made can't say that I think it's uh, the 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 perfect solution because we're now even further from our population center and someone out there will know the the best way of, of transporting goods and, and and what have you over longer distances because I'm pretty sure that unless I build another population center in here that uh, that many of the goods produced are going to fail to reach the people who actually need them I don't know see I'm not I'm not a hundred percent certain how this is uh, how this is engineered. And I'm, not, I'm even less certain how this fine strapping wilderness girl over here managed to get over the other side of the river. And there doesn't seem to be a obvious crossing for quite some time, so I, I, one would imagine she currently has a damp skirt. Still, I applaud the hardiness of this endeavour. And, uh, and maybe she, you know, in fact, who are you? You're Samathy, 27. Okay. Uh, you've got tools. You're a farmer. Hey, Samathy. You're a farmer. Why are you mucking about in this forest? I mean, you know, go grab them mushrooms. Make a nice soup. Uh, right, let's get the road done out here as well so that we can, we can basically just open for business quickly. And what I'll probably do relatively swiftly is... In fact, what I'll probably do now... Is, uh, is get another bridge laid over here. Uh, a wooden stone is the way to go. Get it done. And uh, yeah, likewise, do a bit of that. This actually makes more sense, this connection, because that at least is is kind of on the, uh, the International Food Highway. Likewise, this warehouse that I don't really understand how to make it work, although somehow I have... Oh, yes, you set how much you want it to store. That's what you do. Uh, and then... And then what? It's not a trading post. That's just a tool tip error, because obviously this is a modded item. So my, my kind of illustrious mind's eye plan here was to have a whole suite of warehouses across this waterfront area uh, and, uh, and gradually fill those with with goods and comestibles that uh, that citizens of a colonial era might be uh, might be taken by uh, likewise i think we can get another yeah we I'm, uh, or can we because the the river narrows there i was just wondering if we could get another uh, uh, the, whatever those are called orchard orchard yes get another orchard in there Anyway, regardless, let's let's chop that lot down. How are we doing here? Are we bridge complete? We are bridge complete. All right, let's not muck about. Laborers, I got a lot of laboring in your near future. I want you to get shot of all of that, please. Do not hang around. Go and get it done. So yeah, so I mean, basically, the the, the well, the, the the end result will be that I'll have uh, the. the pretty much close to the uh, the amount of, of farmland that I have right here. Uh, and if we look at the, the magazine, which is largely going to be filled with, with farm-based goods, or, well, or not so much, really. Uh, yeah, see? There's not a lot to eat in there, unless, you know, you really fancy a beeswax and bone meal sandwich, maybe washed down with a couple of crates. Then I can't do anything for you. Likewise, I've got a lot of flour... Why am I why are my bakers not uh, upping the tempo on that front? Yes, cows, 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 cows. And I think that's possibly going to be in part, at least, due to uh, the either the dairy is under delivering or it's being under supplied. We are awaiting the opportunity to uh, 
to carve up a few more llamas, which is always a positive. There we are, 79 milk in. Now that's off three, I think. Three Frisian cow enclave? Four Frisian cow enclaves. Among the enclaves of Frisian cows that I have are these four. And you're just taking it upon yourselves to, to get that done. There you go, there goes the milk. Let's follow this chap here. Who's this? This is uh, Issa. The milk guy. No, he's going to get something to eat. That milk's going to go off. How about how about you take that to the dairy so we can, you know, turn it into butter and cream and, and all of that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, right, let's see if uh, if Team uh, Slash and Burn has made any progress. It doesn't look like it, does it? No, that's the wrong one you're looking at there. We're, we're over here. Has anybody been bothered to even slightly get started? Maybe my mistake here was actually just, you know, targeting all of this. Greed. That's all it was. Should have been a little bit more patient. Uh, anyway, let's... Let's... No, 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 no. Straight is great. We don't want... We don't want bendy roads. We want straight roads. Yes. Oh well, we. With the, I guess there's just a, a, an aspect of patience going on there, but you know, there, there's a time for patience and a time for everybody's going to starve pretty soon. Um, how about you shake a leg? Now, if I were to cut back on, uh, there you can see I picked the right field. It even looked like what it's supposed to be. So if I, if I were to cut, cut back on my uh, on my cotton production and put that as as crops instead. Likewise, I think I might have flax and tobacco and gold knows what else going on here. Let's have a look. Yeah, hemp. See, I mean, there's there's only a certain amount of rope one village needs. So that's what? Where are we up to? Three. Three fields worth of, of non-edible. That's where I started. Yeah, yeah leaks. Everybody likes a good leak. Okay, well, there you go. Well, no, no, here we go. It's two flax, right? So that's, what, five fields that I could convert to food in the short term? Um, I think I might need to. Last year's kind of full-term figures will now be in, so we can see how bad the situation is. Produced 53, used 52. Intriguing. Okay, so we are close. We are close to a, to a break-even point. Um, so maybe I'm maybe I'm panicking unduly. I think it's I think my my main cause for concern is the fact that I have starved my people on multiple occasions, and I can't help but think that maybe they're getting a bit sick of it. Maybe they're not. Maybe that's you know that's the kind of thing they dig. But personally, I think more likely is that you know they've had enough of that. I mean, I could possibly I, I, we could stick a stick an emergency uh, fishing chap on here, I guess. Uh, where am I going to find that? I reckon food production. And then I want a picture of a fish. No picture of the fish. There's a picture of a fish. All right, good. Excellent. Yeah, we'll, st we'll stick a fisherman here. Now, admittedly, his catchment radius isn't going to be great, but I have a, I have a, a, a goodly number of, uh, of workers available right now. And what better way to, to keep them productively organised than to, to have them fishing in the river? I think it might add a certain rustic aesthetic that, uh, that visiting dignitaries will find most pleasing. There we go, and we'll stick a little bit of a, a, little bit of a, a cobblestone plaza-esque kind of a dealio there. And maybe it'll be positive, I don't know. Anyway, we've got, I mean, you know, there's a... That's the thing with with uh, with banished is is you know you set stuff in motion and it's not quick. It you do have to hang around for it to happen, and that's you know that's why you end up in a in a a, a fairly rotten situation on a on a on a fairly regular basis. Or it's certainly why I find myself that way uh, is because you're forever going like uh, we've got the resources coming. If you could just hold on a couple of months and then three quarters of your people will die. Uh, and you're left kind of, you know, mopping up your tears. Let's, while the wait continues, let's let's head over to the uh, to the
to the, the, the beautiful waterfront here. Ah, just as, just as Cheeky Joe the trader turns up. Hello, Cheeky Joe. What are you flogging? Scotch, chocolate, coffee, spirits. All of this is incredibly expensive, and it's not going to feed my starving personages. I mean, I do have reserve food here. I could, I could free up these... Well, what do we got here? Rush, mushrooms, rock melon. Uh, wheat and flour doesn't help. Lettuce does, though. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. It's time to, uh, to flood the market with various salad materia. Uh, inventory. Right, let's go. Let's... Uh, bone meal. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that. Uh, come on, there's only 1,700 food left in stock. It is late summer, so the harvest is imminent. Figs sell quite well, so I want to keep hold of those. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just scroll as slowly as you like, man. No, yeah, nobody's going to be bothered about that. There we go. Let's flood the market with some cheap mushrooms and some cheap lettuce and uh, and kale there we go so that's what three and a half thousand food we've just chucked out there and uh, of course let them eat raspberries and rock melon the two go together very nicely there we go right so that'll be that'll be uh, enough hopefully to to get us through this this trade time. Now, with the, the addition of... No, don't stay there. Just... Oh, no, no. I don't even want you open. Clear off. Um, don't go scrolling back up there again, either. So, yeah. With the addition of an extra fisherman, I can't help but think maybe that will be okay. Uh, likewise, I've got this shipyard. But it's not yet asking me for sailors. So, am I, am I building... What am I... I'm building whole components... Which, which presumably I am doing, given the uh, go, given given the lack of an icon indicating I, I haven't supplied these guys sufficiently. So the question is, how does one subsequently set sail, hunt some whales, and uh, and turn them into, you know, things of value? Uh, theme sets. It's it's in one of these. Where's my military options? Now I'm pretty sure these are just cosmetic, right? Decorative items, yes. Theme sets. Modular, no. Modular buildings is just a thing that I make a mess of. Palisade sets, maybe. No, this is, this is you know, castles in danger. Having a bunch of lads rolling around in uniform, that appeals. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll look into that shortly. But once the... the to, to kind of, you know, uh, bring you up to speed on the plan, such as it is. Uh, these two chaps here, the governor's office and the, the town hall, I'm going to move those to uh, to be slightly more glam in nature. Uh, and this whole area will, will, I don't know, escalate? What's the right word there? Uh, but but we'll, uh, we'll expand on this area to, turn, to, to make it, you know, somewhat more exciting, somewhat more inviting. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, likewise, I've got 28 labourers at the moment. Now, if they're not chopping down trees out there in tree chopping land, then uh, I will be a mite disappointed in them. And will send them down the mines. Right, no, this is definitely it. Well, they've made some progress, that's something, I guess. Uh, likewise, let's expand this road. And we'll use this as as the uh, as the main international superhighway off which uh, great things may occur. Said great things being some fields. If I'm lucky, I can get these built and and kind of operational before the next farming season starts. Uh, let's go 11s. I guess we've committed to this then. You guessed correctly, Matt. That man. We are, uh, yeah. Well, this is it. This, we, we've decided. We've we've made a start on this. I've I've commissioned builders. In fact, let's let's hire another builder. In fact, anybody who is short of people, millers, milling, uh, miners, have a couple more. Anybody else want another body or two? Stone cutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I use a lot of stone. 
good. So, again, the, the, the weight of population is actually in a really, really positive place right now. Uh, it's it's simply a case of keeping it there and not uh, not overhousing to the extent whereby we start getting a, a, a ravening horde of, of, of children and eating me out of house and home uh, before I've rebalanced the, uh, the, the, the flow of, of food. Right? Now, if I sounded a little uncertain there, it's because I'm trying to convince myself that this plan is sound as much as anything else. So if I can get if I can get even even two fields up would be good. Four would be better. Where are we? Come on. No, eleven. Eleven is the number. Eleven. And then in the right oh, crying out loud, you'd 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 imagine that I would, you know, become slightly more proficient with the amount of this I've done previously. Get your auto save out of my face. And then same over here. Eleven squared. Uh, the reason for 11s, I, I, you all know already, but, you know, just in case you're, you're on the fence as to, well, why has he chosen 11? Uh, is because uh, 11 by 11 is the efficient size of a field for one person to work alone. This is what I've been told, and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, it, it seems like a perfectly reasonable proposition to me, and, uh, and I'm not one to question perfectly reasonable propositions. Okay, we're also so we've got a we've got a key barn here, which is I mean that's doing okay, but largely that exists in order to kind of hang on to to the the farmed uh, orchard stuff over here. So I'm going to need some kind of local storage and local processing. It's simply going to be a case of you know maybe specialising crops over here. Uh, certainly from my main field area, it would be very easy to switch up. A couple more to doing wheat, given the, the you know the three windmill approach that I've got going on, uh, and then maybe transferring the crops that those guys are working over here, which could be like, vegetables, fruit, who knows what, but you know something more, uh, you know, more you know cook it and go. Right, come on, remove these trees. Zero of twenty-two. You're not working hard enough. Zero of twenty-five. Get a move. One of 34. Zero of 27. I have never had so many workers and, and laborers uh, on staff, and yet, for some reason, they are taking their sweet time. They, they've all gone for a cushy job near home to, to go and pursue, rather than the thing that may actually aid their very survival. I am more than a little disappointed in my townsfolk, but, you know, since when was that news? Right, I'll also commission, I'm going to commission a barn out here, I think. I, I mean, a magazine might make sense in the fullness of time, but actually I want it as a as a stepping off, as a transition point. Uh, back towards the, the, the rest of the colony overall. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but th this is, you know, this is the plan, such as it is. Uh, food storage only would be ideal. Multi-purpose, dry storage, no... Grain silo. Useful, but not now. Root cellar. Fruit and vegetables. Yeah, I can get behind that. And a meat locker. Oh, we should put a meat locker up elsewhere. A resource depot. Yeah, that's the that's the big fella that I've got going on. Because if I end up sticking this here, we'll we'll end up full of flipping logs and and fish and uh trousers and you know all manner of nonsense so i think right this is going to be root vegetable central over here why are you giving me a a, a cross of of i don't want to do this here no matter where i try and place you do you just not want to play has it got special rules like it must be built on a slope or some such and why has it got this wavy line over the top of it? Because it's a cellar. Therefore, it lives inside a mountain. Right? Is that what I'm supposed to determine from that titling? There's a, there's a mountain. If this does require some kind of hillside to be built into, it can get knotted and I'll build something else. Yeah, there we go. It's happy over there. It's not happy over here. Well, stuff you. You don't get built then. Alright, we're not just going to build 
Uh, 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 what's it? Fruit and vegetable over here. We're, we're going to have to go full service, I guess. Storage for food, clothes, textiles, tools, stockpiles. Is there a. I guess if you were to do a food stockpile, it would soon be known as the rotting food stockpile. Market buildings. No, that doesn't help either. Because none of these are. None of these are storage as such. Right, there we go. Standard barn. There doesn't appear to be an alternative. Uh, unless I fancy finding a, a piece of, you know, open uh, open hillside to, to go build on. That'll do it. Go there. I think I missed a trader just now. Oh, a building's caught fire. This is the kind of thing I should look out for. Oh, dear. Now, the nearest well is uh, quite a long way off. Although, if these chaps were enterprising in any fashion at all, they'd go, oh, look, here's a river. And there she is. Look, look, here the, the women folk and children are all on board with, uh, oh, look, here's a river as a, as a solution to this, uh, this inferno that we have going on. Well, it seems like a suitable place to... Uh, to, to kind of wrap things up for now. Um, yes, we've got a lot of work to do in order to prepare ourselves for a further inflow. Oh, don't burn down a market stall. I know it hasn't caught fire yet, but it's going to. It surely will. Uh, yes, yeah, so there you go. Uh, plenty plenty going on. Plenty to, to get underway with. And, and uh, this should herald uh, a return to, uh, to, to more regular episodic content for you fine people. Because... Uh, I, I'm quite fond of the, the town of Colonelsburg, and, and we all want to see it. Pros Why are you just standing around? Oi, Hoster, do you live nearby? Oh, I see, you're getting something to eat, and as such, you're waiting for the market store to reopen. Well, given that it's just caught fire, you're going to be waiting a while. You're a disgrace, Hoster. A disgrace. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, throw a like on this one if you'd be so kind, and uh, and be sure to subscribe if you've if you've not done so previously, uh, because how else are you going to find out what happens next? Uh, I, I've got to know if Hoster's going to you know get the lead out and and spring into it. In fact, there's lots of them. You can't even say that they're just rubbernecking at the uh, the ongoing disaster, because they're just standing around doing nout. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. I shall catch up with you in the very near future. And the townsfolk of, of wherever the hell this town is. Colonelsburg, yes, there we go. I named it, I should remember. Um, uh, look forward to our next encounter. Tune in again soon. Cheerio.